I'm a real believer that a setback is a springboard. And I think this is something that, you know, educators, also parents, are often hugely failure avoidant. People don't want to fail. But I will often say that a setback, and I much prefer the word setback, is often the most powerful learning resource. And in fact, I, I, I use the term a setback is a springboard. So how is it a springboard? We don't like falling, we don't like failing, we don't like things going wrong. I think the key ingredient is that when something goes wrong, we can learn from it. The best time to be learning is, of course, when we are young people. I think when a setback happens, we should, we should have two things in mind. Do we reflect on it or do we ruminate and, and, and kind of hold on to it and keep thinking about it? We need to reflect on it, guys. We just reflect very quickly. What is it that I can learn? We reflect and we then refine ourselves. So we are better as a result of having failed or, or had a setback. What we don't want to do is ruminate on it and then define ourselves. Ruminate, oh, I'm a blind man, oh, I can't, oh, I can't. If we constantly dwell on that problem, that's the point at which it'll define us and that's the point at which we say, I don't want to do it, I give up. Be a reflector and a refiner.